In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a contact page within Squarespace. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate over to this contact page that we had created earlier. If you don't have a contact page created, you simply just go to Add Page and make a new contact page. Um, now what we're going to do here is we're simply going to add a simple line of text that says Contact Us. And I'm going to make that a heading one. So it's a larger font. And then I want to add a simple contact form. So below this contact us, I'm going to scroll down to this little plus button. I'm going to hit plus. And then once that comes up, I'm going to see again all these block options we have. I'm going to scroll down to this option that says more. And I'm going to click on form. I'm going to add the contact form right here. And now we see this new window that pops up for the form. So you can choose to name your form something. Honestly, this is irrelevant. It's just actually going to be the subject line of the email that sends to you. So I'm going to say pick buggy contact form. And then below here, you can choose the different fields that you want to um, include. So it, it automatically will default to name, email, subject, and message, which is pretty basic. But honestly, I don't really see a need for myself to have a subject, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So I'm going to hit the X. Are you sure you wish to remove this field? Yes. And um, so it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward way to create a contact form. Now, the thing is, you have to actually do something with the contact form. It has to go somewhere. So the next thing you want to do is after you create your contact form is go up to this storage option. And here you have three different ways to store contact form data. The first thing you, it will do, this is going to automatically default to sending this contact form um, through the form of an email to whatever account you signed up for Squarespace with. So in this instance, it's going to send it to pickbuggy at gmail.com. Uh, there's a few other things you can do. If I want to, I can click and connect this to my Google Docs account. And that way it will um, automatically put all of that field, all that information into a Google Doc. This can be a great way to actually track and capture leads. Or if you're doing an email list sign up, you can quickly put these all into a Google Doc Excel spreadsheet. And the third is MailChimp. Uh, this, again, is really useful if you're doing an email list sign up and you want to just capture people's email and contact information and put them into a database. MailChimp is a completely free email software. So with this, you can set up an account. And until you have 500 users in there, it's totally free. And you can send emails out to these people on a regular basis. Um, again, on the contact form, though, this isn't really necessary. And the last thing you can do is under this advanced option, you can change the button. So maybe instead of saying submit, I want to change it to say hello. And I can align the button left or right. And then I can change this text that's going to be post submit. So I can make it instead of saying thank you, thank you for contacting us. We will be in touch shortly. And um, this other stuff you don't need to worry about too much. It's pretty simple. Uh, and we're going to hit save. And you see the button has now switched to say hello. And I'll hit save up here. And we have just created a contact page in Squarespace.